Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of heat energy. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 4. Zachary set up an experiment to find out which material is the most suitable to keep his Milo warm for the longest period of time. He then poured an equal volume of Milo at 40 degrees Celsius into the four identical cups made of different materials. He then recorded the change in the temperature of the Milo for 20 minutes in the graph as shown below. Now in this question, they wanted us to choose which of the materials A, B, C, or D is the most suitable for Zachary to keep his Milo warm for the longest period of time. Now before we answer this question, if we have a cup of Milo that is hot and we leave it out into the open, what is going to happen to the Milo? Is it still going to be warm? No. In fact, when we leave the cup of warm Milo out into the open, we know the warm Milo is going to lose heat to the cooler surroundings. And as a result, what will happen to the temperature? The temperature is going to decrease. So if Zachary wanted to keep his Milo warm for the longest period of time, this means do we want the hot Milo to lose heat the fastest or the slowest? We want the hot Milo to lose heat the slowest. So let's write this down. The hot Milo would lose heat the slowest. And since the hot Milo is going to lose heat the slowest, this means is the temperature going to decrease the fastest or the slowest? The temperature would decrease the slowest. So let's add that in. And decrease in temperature the slowest as well. And since we want the temperature of the Milo to decrease the slowest, this means shall we choose the material that is the best or the poorest conductor of heat. We shall use the poorest conductor. So we can write this down. We shall use the poorest conductor of heat. Now that we have established that, let's take a look at the graph itself. How do we find out which is the poorest conductor of heat? Remember, the poorest conductor of heat is going to decrease in temperature the slowest. So how do we find out which of the materials here decrease in temperature the slowest? Now I want you to imagine that all the lines of these graphs are like slides in a playground. And if they are all slides, which one would allow you to slide down the fastest? Is it going to be A, B, C or D? Straight away I'm sure you can tell me the slide that allows you to slide down the fastest is going to be D. And in the same way, the temperature of the hot Milo inside of D is also going to decrease the fastest. So let's write this down. And since the temperature of the hot Milo in D decreases the fastest, this tells us that is material D the best or the poorest conductor of heat? This tells us D is the best conductor of heat. But is that what we wanted? No, in fact, we want the one that is the poorest conductor of heat, which means we should choose the one that the temperature decreases the slowest. So which of the lines represent that? Now you should be able to tell me it should be material A. So for material A, you can see the temperature decreases the slowest. And since it decreases the slowest, what can you conclude about A? A must have been the poorest conductor of heat. So let's write this down. Poorest conductor of heat. And this is what we want. Therefore, which material should we choose? We should choose material A. That's why the correct answer should be option 1. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. 
Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!